a pretty extreme example of the abuse that some e-mountain bike wheels can go through. But for most of us, it's not about abuse, it's simply about the increased intensity, the sheer amount of riding that we do on our e-bikes that actually demands strong wheels. To assist us today in our investigation into just how strong these wheels should be, Chris Ackrig and his rock and roll dog, Lemmy. Fetch! Now, one of the things with an e-mountain bike is that you're actually carrying a little bit more speed, as we saw recently in a trip to Italy. And therefore, the collisions are actually happening a little bit quicker. But more than that is the fact that it's the intensity of the riding. So, for example, two downhill runs in an hour becomes four downhill runs in an hour, four becomes eight, and all of a sudden, you're doing a lot of very technical, very physical riding, but also riding which is putting demands on the wheels and the overall chassis of your bike quite a lot. Now the next point I want to make about wheels which are maybe overbuilt rather than overweight is that whole business of weight. Now a typical enduro mountain bike will weigh say around about 15 to 20 kilos whereas a mid-travel e-mountain bike we're looking at 20 to 25 kilos. And with that comes maybe a difference in technique. So many riders might actually have their wheels on the ground a little bit more often than you would on a mountain bike. So that in effect is going to, like I said earlier, increase the amount of collisions you're going to experience on the MTB. Right, climbing, this is a big one. Very much an e-mountain bike specific game. Uh, very often technical climbing. So in a situation such as this, not only are we looking for wheels which are strong, but also wheels which have got really good fast engagement. And the reason you need that is because you're gonna be making decisions in an instant. Uh, you're gonna be continually climbing steppy ground. And also, when you think about it, a mountain bike ride now becomes all encompassing. You're now going uphill, downhill, along and across in a short space of time. <laughs> I can't believe you get up there. Obviously, everyone needs strong wheels, but the better the rider you are, the better the wheels you need, I guess. Uh, Chris, I want to talk to you about one thing. Engagement, you do lots of technical stuff on your bike. Is, is that engagement critical? And I guess, Industry 9 is, is great in that respect, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's almost an instantaneous pickup. You just don't have that lag that some free hubs have. Yeah. I mean, it definitely aids you in, uh, in climbing because you don't have that, like, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. It's fractions of a second. You're making, you know, instinctive decisions. I guess you, you live, your, your career is about those fractions of seconds, isn't it, really? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I'm not a downhill racer, but <laughs> the time is critical. You know, time yeah. is everything what I do. And I suppose when, you, when you're piecing together a technical climb, you know, you're having lots of collisions, you're having that engagement. It's 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 a quite a jigsaw, isn't it? Yeah, I sort of like that's the one thing that I don't think people realise about like technical sort of riding I do. A lot of my craft is like, you know, pedal timing and all that, and obviously having a like I said, an almost instantaneous pickup. Yeah, what, what about um I mean I personally use aluminium wheels, Anna uses the carbon industry nine wheels, Rich uses the carbon ones, and I guess it depends on the type of riding you're doing, isn't it? What wheels do you use? Do you, do you use carbon or do you go for aluminium? I've actually got alloy in at the moment. I've used them both. Um, I generally just on my day-to-day -day bike, I use aluminium, to be honest. That's yeah. just personal preference, but I say I use both. There you go, folks. Uh, an insight into extreme use of e-mountain bike wheels. Like I mentioned earlier, it's about being overbuilt rather than having the wheels that are really heavy to kind of to deal with the abuse, of the abuse and intensity of the, of the riding you do. The bottom line is that e-mountain biking is quite a different sport in many respects to mountain biking in terms of the amount of riding you do. And like we've seen in Chris Ackrig, the madness you do. Thanks, Chris, for joining us. Cheers.